I know, I know, I didn't have time to do my nails today, okay? I was busy working. God damn it. Uh, that's what the, the, the housewives, they go out and they get all pretty and shit because uh, they don't do nothing all day. They don't work. So, of course, they're going to look hot and shit. Motherfuckers. I got to go out there in the sun and sweat and shit. And, you know, it does, it's nasty on my skin. The makeup doesn't help either. God damn it. Uh, anyways, let's get this show on the road, motherfuckers. You know what it is. Let you all know. Uh, sign up for the backup channels just in case we get banned. We have two strikes, one more, and the channel, they told me the channel will be deleted. All your videos and everything. Uh, we'll basically just lose, we'll lose all the dude podcasts and nothing for that other asshole because I never saved any of that ass. Uh, but I've been saving these videos, so I can just re-upload them into all the other shit. So, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yes, I do want to be a housewife. Comer, I just want to lay around all day, sipping on wine and shit, feeling pretty. Nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm just saying, you know, it just it pisses me off. That, you know. Anyways. Uh, cheers, motherfuckers. Yeah, I do like pina coladas. Oh, the rain. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, August 25th, over here, on the Discord, we're going to be watching All In at 6 p.m. Central. Uh, it was a hit. Uh, the last time we saw the WWE, it was badass. Uh, so we're definitely going to be doing this from now on. If you guys, there's something you want to see, like, we're definitely going to see the Tyson versus Logan Paul and shit. But if there's any ass you guys want to see, let me know and shit. We might show it on the Discord. Uh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way we do. Uh, we can even watch the Super Bowl and shit and ass like that. I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Discord, Discord is officially badass. Let's just let's just leave it at that. All right. Uh, but anyways, let's get this let's get this show on the road, motherfuckers. Uh, cause a lot of ass happened, and I don't know some some other some other bullshit and and, and some shit happened. But uh, let's get into it. Of course, our social medias, at Cinnaman665 for the X, at the Underground Broadcast with the little lines in the bottom in between the words for the Instagram. And we don't give a fuck about TikTok, right? We, the, the videos are there from before, but we're not uploading anymore. Fucking assholes shadow ban us and shit. Uh, so yeah, that's what we do. You, whatever you send me on your fucking social medias, I will share, share here. It says primarily, this is one of those types of channels. We have those types of people watching. And so, one of those types of people. Super Saiyan Joku sent me this today earlier. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see what he said. He says, I mentioned you in a post. Oh, he mentioned me in a post. It's IG. He said, I stopped by a different spot to pick up some different pot. Oh, that's badass. Catch you on the up and up, son of man. You rhyme there, badass. At the underground broadcast, cheers, small flowers. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Hashtag marijuana. Hashtag Mary Jane. And hashtag. Smoke weed every day. Ah oh, yeah! Cheers, Joker! <laughs> now let me see what you got. You got 7 grams for 52 bucks. That's actually pretty good. How much? I guess this is where it pisses me off because it says 20% THC and TAC. Uh, see, like, I don't, you know, because I'm not a nerd. So I don't know. Let me go back to that part. I don't know some of these things. Uh, slow cured and hand trimmed for rich flavors. That's badass. Terrapinoly, carilophanine, osamine. I don't know what any of that is. Total terps. What's a terp? God damn it. This is why like, I'm, I'm afraid for them to legalize it because I think we're going to get gypped with his ass. These nerds are going to be like, yeah, yeah, this is not, you know, I don't even know what they're selling me. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but but it looks good and I bet it got you high, motherfucker. I'll tell you like that. I like I like the, the, the signs in the beginning. Hey, bud, <laughs> there's no smoking allowed. Walking, you can't be walking around smoking. All right, do it in your house. We don't want no fucking. We don't want no druggies polluting the air outside. Is basically what what this sign is saying. 
<laughs> fucking fucking uh, Vermont. And then uh, at Marlboro Road. Oh, that's badass, Marlboro Road. Uh, you stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, Bar Bud Barn, Hempy Curian. That's the store. And they have an art shop gallery with frogs, leopard frogs. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, it sounds like a pretty cool store, man. You should have taken some pictures of those frogs. That would have been badass, is all I'm saying. Uh, this is what I'm currently, motherfucker, what I'm currently doing right now. You don't see me smoking right now. And the reason is because I took some caps by Good Morals. These are Sour Twist, Apple. Uh, they, they have THCA... THCP and D9s Delta 9 and it has the mushroom extract in this now I didn't know if this was any good and so the other day <clears throat> I took I took two these are 500 milligram for each I'll show you what they look like they're 500 milligrams this is what they looks like. See, it's just a, it's a gummy, you know. This is it's just like that small 500 milligram ass of an aftertaste. And you know what that aftertaste is? It's the D9, bros. I'm starting to to be like these D8s and D9s. That's not weed, man. That's like fucking shit they're making in labs and shit, man. That's what's pissing me off about this ass. Uh, but the THCP and the THCA, that's whatever. But anyways, I took two, and uh, in, in about two hours, I was really mellow and really happy. And right away, because I look, you know this in a man, the world pisses me off. Just going outside and looking at human beings, just ugh. So it is. But I was really happy to be out there working. <laughs> I was happy and I right away I knew I was like cause I haven't done mushrooms since I was like 20 20 21 or 22 no no then I did them afterwards I did them till I was like I must have been 23 24 20, 23 24 <laughs> was the last time so it was a long, long time ago but I right away felt it's not strong. It wasn't strong, but I felt it, and I said, "This does have the mushroom stuff," because I was really happy. Um, and then by hour number four, holy shit, man! I think the fucking D nines and all the other shit hit, cause I was just fucking coasting through the day. I was like, and that's the way I was walking too. I wasn't even moving my legs. I was sitting in a sitting down position, just floating, traveling like that, like this. I was like, this is badass. <laughs> I don't know how I was walking, but that's how I, that's how I, I saw myself. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I took two and a half of these, uh, around 440. <laughs> <laughs> so this this uh I feel really really good and um and this podcast might get really bad <laughs> in the next hour or so, okay? I'm sorry y'all. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, but I found some other shit. <laughs> I found some other shit at the store. The guy sold me this for 3 bucks and it's also by Caps Good Moral. And this one's 1,400 milligrams, just one gummy. And he said, dude, take this if you're not going to do anything off. <laughs> like, you're gonna, it's your day off. Take it. He goes, don't do it. you got to go to work, dude, because trust me, you might fall asleep. And I said, okay, cool. And then here, the Arab guy sold me this one for three bucks. This is super shady uh, because it just says rocket. 
and uh, I went online and there's only one video of one guy who bought this and he and he he made a review and he said I bought this at the convenience store from an Arab. <laughs> he literally said that. And he said fucking super shady just like I thought super shady, but it's 1400 milligrams also. Um and uh <laughs> he took it and he did the video and he feels good after two hours and then after that he comes back like two more hours later and he said i don't even remember when i fell asleep <laughs> he goes he goes it's strong so yeah so i have these two motherfuckers and for someone who's been smoking a lot like me i think because i just took two and a half right so that's what like that's about 1200 milligrams or 1300 milligrams that i just took and I'm, I'm gonna be able to I'm coast through the show like nothing. Because I smoke weed. Uh, so these pussies, maybe, maybe I'm like, maybe this would be nothing for me. I'm just saying. Uh, Y'all let me know if you've had some of these. But uh, let me get into the comments. Y'all motherfuckers talking about wrestling. Y'all wait till we do the wrestling, motherfuckers. Ah oh, man, oh, there's some, there's something going on in the in the pop culture. We'll get to it. Don't worry, guys. I don't want to jump ahead. Uh, but let's get into the comments because there is a lot of comments and shit for some strange fucking reason. Um, <laughs> all of a sudden this blows up for whatever fucking reason. We're not going to do more than 45 minutes of comments. I'm just doing it because we don't even have subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> anyways, D post over here on the regular, on the regular podcast video. D post says another great show. And he puts those badass pink sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Tess, D post. <laughs> like X 23 puts on those sunglasses. Um, Brime the world on the, cause I put the, I put the message like to the discord for our, the summer slam and he put laughing my ass off and he says, Hey, I can get a small app if you want, because I was asking for help for the discord, but I, I spent all day. I spent all day. I told you guys, I spent all day looking at YouTube videos and, and following the instructions these nerds were saying, but I set up our discord. So now we can do this ass. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brian was there. He also showed up. The motherfucker. Go subscribe to him. These motherfuckers are always after fucking child molesters and child predators, and they expose them too in their own channel too. They they bring them on. You want to talk? Come on here. And then they all start talking shit to them. <laughs> it's fucking badass. Uh, but anyways, Anthony Timmons on the Jonathan Majors uh, has a future in women's boxing. He says. Jonathan Majors, Ezra Miller, and the rest of their ilk. Uh, they need to face reality. We're all bored with a shelf life. Nobody lives forever. And life doesn't owe you or anybody else jack fucking shit. Deal with it, bitches. Oh, Timmons. Cheers, Timmons. <laughs> Timmons got crazy there. Kind got crazy. Oh, Timmons also says on the on the trafficking uh, arrests on Comic Con, he says, trying to kidnap cosplayers. Now I've officially heard everything. That's exactly what I thought when I read the headline, and I said, man, this is good to cover. But I genuinely couldn't believe it. If it hadn't been from that credible source, I had it. I wouldn't have believed it. And I said. Shit. What world? No. What reality are we living in? What what has those six sons of bitches over at CERN fucked up? They fucked something up in the timelines fucked right now. That's all I'm saying. They're fucking with reality. Cheers, Timmons. Uh, Doug Unfunny, let me hit it for this fucking dick. Where is he? Woke as fuck. He says, on the Comic-Con trafficking stuff, he says, God damn you, son of man. 
I had to Google this to check how much of this was true. And he puts a bunch of laughing faces. Cheers. Hashtag. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing the woke pack. That's W P for live, bitches. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how we do in this channel. I don't know how they do in other channels, but that's how we do in this channel. All right, let it be known. All right, cheers, Doug. Thank you for commenting, you dick. I love you. Gomer Kyle, Jonathan Majors. He says. Apparently, they're giving gold medals out to domestic abuse now. Oh, in domestic abuse now. <laughs> These people really are kicking the women's movement by virtue signaling this BS. Those real women got screwed in the Olympics. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. All right, all right. This, 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 uh, <laughs> and this is that kind of channel. All right. <laughs> Cheers, Gomer. Right, let's see. The cunt. Oh, the motherfucker. He says on the Jonathan Majors video. His new movie coming up. Fist of the Pumpkin Spice Latte. He's going to be teaming up with Mel Gibson, who will teach him his finisher move, the White Claw Yoga Strike. Oh, you should do that to a comic book, motherfucker. This guy does some comic books and shit. He does parodies in the comic books. They're fucking funny. Cheers, cut. Oh. Fucking rock. Oh, the Satanist. Let me hit it for this dick. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco in the Jonathan Majors video says, I fully support the son of man in woman's boxing. Hey, well, well, yeah, that's true. I, I did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do it if I if I wanted to. I don't I really don't want to. I mean, it's too much work, to be honest with you. I'm not that kind of a woman. I just more of a housewife. I just want to just chill and dr get drunk and high all day. Get fucked. Oh yeah. Cheers. Heck, with the right trainer, they can even become women's. He can eat. They can even become women's world champion. Hey, good, good job on that. They. Women's world champion one day. Son of Man versus Ezra Miller would sell out MGM Grand within minutes. Oh, it really would. Cheers, Son of Man. Hashtag. No, 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 fuck the MGM Gram. If I'm going to fucking fight Ezra Miller, it's going to be a bare knuckle street fight outside of the club when we're both drunk. That's how it's gonna go down, bitches. Oh, yeah. That's how it would go down with me. Fuck you, Ezra Miller. Any day of the week, just tell me. We'll go get drunk, and then we'll go outside and fuck each other up. Pussy. You fucking wizard goose, or whatever the bullshit you call yourself, motherfucker. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you for co commenting. Oh, D post on the Comic Con trafficking says, I've got a burning question. How on earth does Trump's ear not have a scratch on it? You'd think there'd be a chunk missing, but it looks like it healed miraculously. It's freaking amazing. Trump, the chameleon, can regrow his tail. I mean, ear. No, 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 calm down. Look. I've already, I, I don't have fucking shit, but I, I I saw it last time, and it's like, you know what they, they, they did? Because the motherfuckers are rich, depots. They go and get stem cells, and they fucking grow skin grafts, and this is plastic surgery. But if you look at the piece, it's fucking wider than the rest of his ear, because it's brand new. 
And it's probably not even from... It's probably from another part of his body that they fucking... That's what they do, man. That's what they do. These motherfuckers have money, bro. These motherfuckers have money and they fixed his ear. And you could tell. You could see it. You could see it. I saw it. It looks like like a, a little piece was added on there and shit. Or it's a scam and you know we're all getting j jib duped and shit. And he's the Antichrist. And we'll find out in seven years because he's supposed to give us seven years of peace. Before he just, just shows us all he's the devil. And then when everyone's fucked. Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. Deep post. Thank you for that. Oh, Larry Land on the. Oh yeah, it's nice. Okay, so I started posting my 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 fucking my old music. I play the music during the breaks, in the lives. For those of you who show up on the live show, not the re-upload the pussy edited versions, what I call it. Uh, those motherfuckers see the show and all the fuck ups and shit. And also, when I go take a piss, because a motherfucker's drinking here and drinking water and all his ass, and even sometimes he just gotta go, you know? And so I gotta take a break. And so when that shit happens, I play some music in the background, some old music and shit. And so then I decided, uh, I guess somebody, I don't know, something like, I just fucking realized that these are things that I worked on, and I should at least put them up so that. When I am no longer here, all this is still there after I'm gone. Whether anybody looks at it or not, I give a fuck. The point is, I got it done. I did these things. You know, um, do I still do music? Uh, I fuck around, but I'm not like, you know, I haven't been inspired in years to like sit down and make a whole album and write down thoughts and things like that. But I, I fuck around from time to time, and I just this is just random stuff. And I the music for the dudes podcast, I did that, you know, and that was the inspiration. I was just trying to think of a cool intro to, and then of course I did the fuck this the underground broadcast. That's that's fucking all me. So that's shit. I can do it, but you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll record myself just fucking around and see what I do, and I might I might upload it. So it'll be under a music playlist or, or something like that. It'll be down there. Uh, but yeah, I'm uploading my old albums. And I'm trying to put at least two a day. Uh, it's, it's it's a lot of fucking music. I only got to put one up today. We'll see how many if I even get to do some this weekend. I might put up. Or maybe next week. But there's a few more albums up. And holy shit. All the way from the motherfucking Philippines. It's none other than Andrew Sanchez. We don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. Cheers, Sanchez. We love you on this channel. Thank you for watching us all the way from the Philippines. Hey, and Larry Len is here. <laughs> Cheers, Larry. We're about to read your comment, motherfucker. Uh, he says, good shit, mofo, is what he said. Oh, I was basically explaining to people that this is my old music and shit that I did, and I just wanted to put it up so that it's up there, you know, archived forever. Uh, you know, and I don't know, I haven't done anything. I haven't, you know, had inspiration, but like I said, I don't know, maybe one day I'm here fucking around with music, and I just want to put something together. I might record myself, and I'll upload it so you all can see my process, you know. But as far as I'm, I'm making a new album, now, I'm not, you know, nothing like that. I'm just, you know... It's just music. It's it's always in you, and you just fuck around from time to time. But that back then, I really, you know, that's what I said. A man was. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah, there's more albums I'm putting up. Probably next week on Monday, you'll start seeing more. Uh, I have a. T I did a total of fourteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I d this is what I do now. This is what I concentrate on doing for y'all. All right, the son of man just wants to fucking talk to you and preach to you. All that ass that's out there. That's what I'm all about. Just ass. So that's what this channel basically is. Cheers. 
And thank you for being here, all you motherfuckers. Larry Land, Andrew Sanchez, The Cut, Super Saiyan Joe, Koo, fucking Gober Kyle, and Anthony Timmons. All you motherfuckers. It's always, don't you ever forget. Live. And thank you all for being here, man. Uh, I do this just for you, for you all, motherfuckers, for the woke pack. Cheers. Let's keep it going. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Been a while. He says nice, bro, to the music that I posted. The thank you. But let me hit it for Houston, Texas, very own Jose Treviño. Repite su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. Oh, yeah. you crazy motherfucker. Thank you for putting nice bro on the shit. That's the very first one I did. Obviously, it says one and shit. Um, and then there's others, and the, the music changes, and it just, you know, because it evolves as I, you know, and shit. I think the, the kind of music I like, or because I fuck around now, like I said, I fuck around from time to time. It's just different, man. People change, you know, the stuff they, they like and the stuff they do. Uh, like I said, maybe one day I'll record myself when I'm fucking around here and I'll put it up so y'all can see. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, th thanks for, you know, like I said, there's more albums coming up. Though. You'll see them next week. More at it. Uh, J Hart W. He says, holy shit, you make music too. Pretty dope. Hey, thank you, Jay. Yo, motherfucker, thank you for being here also for commenting and, and subscribing. We appreciate that and shit. That's like a long, just okay, that's 2010, man. I was fucking, I don't even remember how old I was back then. It was a long time ago, just put it like that. Uh, my hair, no, my I was still dyeing my hair. I, I've always dyed my hair. My hair was turning white since I was 11 years old, motherfuckers. All right, plain and simple. And I just fucking just quit dying it one day and let it all just all hang out. What? Gives a fuck. Super Saiyan Joku also on the on the first my first album. He says, "Let's fucking go, son of man. I'm your number one fan, boy. Meow. Dope shit. Oh, yeah. fucking Joku. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, motherfucker. Uh, I really do appreciate y'all, motherfuckers." Rocco also says uh, the first album I posted up from 2010. He says, "Now, oh, he said it, it's uh, it's from my song. Okay, this is the I think this is the hook. Now I'm stuck in a rut, saying what the fuck. That shit's chopped and screwed or whatever back then. He says, yo, that song is dope. He says, hashtag son of man goat hashtag." Live. Thank you, Rocco, for commenting, you fucking Satanist. You motherfucker. Uh, Rocco also on the Son of Man hates James Gunn. Short video, he just puts a bunch of laughing faces. Yeah, yeah, fuck that guy. That's all I'm gonna say about James Gunn. We got a lot of comments tonight, y'all motherfuckers. Thank you all for commenting. Uh... Uh, Akuma King. I don't know if this is a, a new guy or not. I hope you subscribe to us, Akuma King. But thank you very much for just dropping by. This is a, a kind of an old video, I think, because this is a dude's podcast expert. That's when he who should not be named was on the channel. That pussy. And Akuma says, What will claim George Martin's the first? Oh, what will claim George Martin first? Diabetes or gravity? Oh, at this rate, it looks like it's gonna be gravity and shit. Oh, that, that, that pumpkin patch, fucking uh, sound of freedom, motherfucker. Brian, the world is here. <laughs> that motherfucker's a legend, Brian. I don't, is it? Is it Brian? Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> I think I am saying I sound like an idiot. Brime the world. That's probably not how you say your name, you motherfucker. And you've been letting me call you that and shit like a dumbass. Uh, 
Thank you for being here, you fucker. Cheers. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Bribe on his fucking comment. Uh, he says, uh, I clicked on it, but there's no point to click on it because basically I'm just complaining about like, uh, I, uh, about, I don't know if we're going to be able to show stuff of the, the wrestling on fucking on Discord. And he said, you can basically show anything on Discord as long as it's not the obvious child pornography and etc. So can you put regular pornography like fucking, you know, uh, like some young, some young man in his 20s having sex with a lady in her 50s? Is, is that OK? I don't know. We don't know. Brian, you're going to have to be more specific with that. Uh, but no child pornography. This guy's against that. And we all are. All that shit that Jared, that motherfucker, glad he's in jail. R. Kelly, we're glad they're in jail. Alright, that's what we're for in this channel. To keep those motherfuckers locked up. And if it were up to me, we would do more and lock them up, motherfuckers. They'd be up there in the city square naked. You can pass there and throw whatever you want at them. Or whatever. You want to throw a bullet at them? That's cool, man. That bullet comes out of a gun. That's cool. I mean, as long as you're throwing it, it's okay. Uh, that's all I'm saying. He says, I'm in multiple discords where the premise is watching movies or shows. Sometimes in my discourse, we stream movies. Wow, you just blew my mind. Holy fuck. We could fucking do so many things now. I had no idea. Anthony Timmons, he says, it's... It's John Beim. John Beim? Burn? I don't know. I don't know what you guys. <laughs> burn, burn the world or Beim? Beim the world. God damn it. Y'all motherfuckers are fucking me up. Is it Beim? It is Beim. It's Beim, right? I don't know. God damn it. I was calling him Burn the World or Bernie. Is it Bernie? It's a Bernie the world! It's Bernie! He must be Cajun! Yeah, that's probably it. Cheers, you pumpkin patch motherfucker. We love you! Let's see. Akuma King? Again? This time, thank God, it's not in a dude's podcast video. Uh, he's on the Star Wars short video. He says, crazy Kathleen Kennedy quintuple down on put a chick in it and make it lame and gay. South Park needs to release another Pandaverse special immediately. Ah, oh, Star Wars is dead to me. Dead. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, thank you for... Fucking, I hope you subscribe to Kumo every every week. And this has been happening since we started this channel. And this is why I know they're fucking with us. But I've always said I think it's one friend that hates me so much, but secretly loves me. That he subscribes and unsubscribes. And subscribes and unsubscribes because he's conflicted. But it's affection for me. And that's why he does it. But we always lose a subscriber and we gain one back. Always. Every week. Just one. Keeps coming back and coming back for more. And then he gets mad because I offend him. And he quits. But then he comes back because he wants some more. I don't know what's going on. But I think it's YouTube fucking with us. Uh, Deep post on the Drake's career is over. He says... Time for the underground broadcast to take over the place of Drake. You have to do market your market your pro bot bot pod podcast. We have a broadcast. That's why I'm tripping on my own words, motherfucker. It's a broadcast. Let it be known. Fuck the podcast. Fuck you. He who should not be named. Not you, Depos. That son of a bitch. Just ruined everything. We're not a podcast anymore because it's some asshole. We're now a broadcast. Unfortunately, it's better than no, it's better. It's better. Fuck the podcast. That's what I'm saying. No longer a podcast, guys. Remember. Uh, anyways, we need to. He says we need to do market on the social media because it's fucking great. Well, I mean, like it's just an it was I always I, I'm always posting on Instagram and on Twitter. I just, we don't have any followers. That's just the problem. 
<laughs> that, I mean, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just nowadays, when it comes down to it, is you have to pay the motherfuckers to advertise. And I'm going to be paying no motherfuckers. They should be paying me to be seeing this. But we're not there yet. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, Depost has here some 10 tips to promote your podcast. Uh, tune in to our YouTube podcast for the latest insights and interviews every week. Subscribe now and never miss an episode. Of, uh, join us on YouTube for deep dives for fascinating topics with our expert guests. Hey, I don't get it. What are you trying? Are you telling me to just copy paste this to my Instagram? Because I could do that every day. You want me to copy paste these? Like that's for Monday. That one's for Tuesday. There's a lot of these. I could do this for like a week or two. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Is that what you want us to do? Oh, no. You got to make it simple, man. This is a lot of instructions. A lot, a lot. Expand your knowledge and enjoy thought-provocative discussions by subscribing to our podcast. I don't think that's the kind of people that are going to enjoy what we're saying on here and shit. I mean, we're talking about licking ass and shit. <laughs> Cheers. Deep post. Ah, oh, I fucking love this guy. He's weird. <laughs> the cut of the Drake says, certified lo 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 lover boy, certified pedophile. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, He's not like us. He's not like us. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, Anthony Timmons, uh, the Britney Spears says, No, thank you. She's mental and I don't care. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's a princess. All right. Don't worry about it. Everybody, the, the Michael Jackson was mental and he was still beloved. All right, there's no problem. Don't problem. And one of these days, the whole world's gonna love Cinnamon. Man wearing makeup, being drunk and high. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You know, not everyone's perfect. Not everyone's perfect. Uh, at the Timmons continues and says, uh, on the Kevin Feige is a baby with paints. He says. Because I was talking about Giancarlo Esposito, and the character looks nothing like the one from the comic book. He says, He looks nothing like Sidewinder. Another drop by the human ball sack, Kevin Feige. I hate him more and more every day. Shit, Timmons. You're getting pretty crazy there. I like it. Cheers, Timmons! <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep post on the Illuminosa uh, album that I posted, the 2013. Uh, and also in the description of that is the link so you can download them. Uh, he says, great music for chilling. Yeah, Illuminosa is one of, honestly, one of my favorite ones that I did. Because that one I can cruise, cause, or I could just chill here and just like listen to the music because this is... Cause it's just that's music to fucking your high and low to like all oh, like yeah i like that one a lot luminosa um that's lindsay lohan i put my tattoos on her <laughs> that was my woman that's my woman right there man somebody got her pregnant already she got a kid god damn it she's beautiful she's a beautiful woman oh my god anyways please keep going oh it's none other than the yellowest motherfucker on this channel, Robo Iger. Konnichiwa. And Robo on the Cinnamon New Age Rebel album that I dropped, the 2012 one. I think that's the heaviest one. I really. When I make. Like, they, they, okay, so I know you, it's. Uh, somebody uh, had asked me, not you guys, but a friend of mine, when he saw some of these, he said, how did you make so many and drop so many and like so fast? And I said, it's just like when I work on music, not every song's different. One song sounds bluesy. One song's really sounds depressing. One song's happy. One song's 
heavy metal like i just make music and then i save stuff and i save stuff and i just you know when i stay stuck i like, can't think of a bridge i just save it and i move on and start making something new and it sounds different like every feeling is different everything that i'm doing is different and so i just put those into folders like you know heavy and slow and stuff like that and then when i start making an album or whatever when i say i want to do an album i go through those files and i pick music you know that i that I want, like, because I want this album to be, because it's art, you know? So I want this album to be a concept. And most of these, like, if you think about it, most of these are concepts. Yeah, what, what the stuff I'm talking about and, and, you know, the imagery and shit. And so I fucking, you know, I, I, I fucking pick from there the emotions from the stuff that I, I had been making. So I, it's not that, oh, shit, I finished so many. I just have a lot of music that I can just pick from. And it's my stuff that I've been doing and fucking around with. So that's how, that's how it is. Uh, and Robo, but Robo goes ahead. I just wanted to say, because like, there were so many that I had did, done all of a sudden or whatnot. Robo says, son of man, I listened to a few of these today. You never cease to amaze me, friend. I sh Let me just maximize this. Before. I showed a few songs to Holia. Oh my God, his wife. She thinks you're very talented and wanted me to tell you to continue on your path and not to quit. Keep it up, son of man. Me and the woke pack support you. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. That means a lot. That means a lot. Uh, like I said, I just music. It's like it's just something I do. Like whatever. It's nothing. I'm not making another album. Like I said. Uh, but fucking uh i'm doing this like i said and as long as you guys show up the show will be here every friday night we'll be here doing this drinking them buzz balls ah uh, yeah <laughs> taking them fucking taking them gummies you know what it is motherfuckers cheers robo and holy out we love you you ancient motherfuckers Fuck it. On the Son of Man's Mutant Powers, which was my mutant powers, like, I would turn into smoke and travel through smoke. But it would be marijuana smoke, so I could be high when I'm traveling. <laughs> Anthony Timmons says, good one, son. Cheers, Timmons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. There's a new guy in the chat. Some guy say, YT Quizzo. I think I said it. <laughs> I think I said it right, Quizzo or ex Exquizzle. Oh yeah, I hope I said that right and shit. You know, cheers, motherfucker. Thank you for being here on a Friday night. If you feel comfortable, you can let us know uh, where you're at, what country or what state. You don't have to be specific, but you know, you know, motherfuckers. We got motherfuckers in here from motherfucking the Philippines, Australia. We got motherfuckers here from the South too. Uh, it's shit. New York. Cheers to you, motherfuckers. Everybody out here representing on a, on a Friday night or Saturday morning, depending on what part of the world you're at. Cheers. Timmons. Timmons also says in the Drake's career is over. Drake? Is he famous? I never gave him a second thought. Yeah, this guy's done. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, fucking Universal is going to be asking for their 400 fucking million dollars back from this motherfucker because there ain't no way in hell his next release is going to be a hit. The way that they not like us, they not like us was a hit. All right. Can't top that. You can't. If you could top it, you would have done it already. But you stayed quiet and you didn't respond. So you got nothing, nothing to bring to the table. And no one's going to respect you for it. When you pull out your next hit, no one's going to respect you for it. You fucked up. You fucked up, Drake. And you know what? I'll come out and say it. Kendrick isn't even that good. <laughs> I ain't going to come out and say it. Personally, I don't think he's that good, man. That guy's a little too... Um... I'll say it. You know, I don't give a fuck. He's too Black Panther-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say it, man. I mean, it's just... You either have to be into it or in, in the movement and know what you're talking about or you're not. And I, frankly, am not. 
That's the truth. You know, look at me. I'm wearing makeup. I identify as a fucking woman. You know, what the fuck do I know about fucking black power and shit? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't over there in the BLMs in the middle of it. I'm not. There's a bunch of dumb sons of bitches that are over there. And I'm like, what are you doing over there? You're white. Get the fuck out of there, you idiot. It's not your shit. But people want to go over there and make asses of themselves. That's fine. Uh, I'm not talking about the BLMs. I'm talking about the idiots that want to go out there. You're not even part of that. C -c -c stay your ass home, okay? You dumb asses. Uh, Drake is over. He didn't respond. It's over. That's all I'm going to say. Fuck you. you. Fucked up. Thank God for Lil Wayne, who's distancing himself from Drake. Nicki Minaj. Nobody wants to touch this motherfucker right now. Nobody. Only all the poor motherfuckers, you know, everybody like, fucking, uh, what's his name, Young Thug over there, and fucking going to jail, he's all like, hey, let me put a feature, yeah, because he needs it and shit, but nobody famous wants to be around this motherfucker, this child molester, you know, pedophile, wop, 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 cares, Kendrick! <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going, let's keep going, <laughs> Fucking Super Saiyan Joe, cool, at the paragraph and a half on the Drake video, and he says, I think Kendrick hates light skins. Oh! <laughs> nah, I just told you what, he's all about, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, you're just, it's just, it's what it is, bro. We're all different, you know, that's what, what he's, that's their struggle, man. You know, my struggle is different. I just fucking, I, I just want to raise on my job for the minimum wage, but I'm all fucking, you know, like, fuck. You know, and if I quit, my cousin or some other fucking brown motherfucker is going to get the job and probably get paid less for it. Because he's a dumbass. And so there's a lose-lose situation, and that's why I'm stuck in the same position. But anyways, that's our struggle. That's our struggle as browns. Okay? Blacks have it different. That's our struggle as browns. Let's keep it going. Let's keep going. Uh, Super Saiyan Joko keeps going and says, I'm on Drake's side on this one. The music only. I jam out to all his music, R&B and all. Oh, fucking Joku over there. Da, 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 da. Uh, no, how does he do it? He do, he does like, uh, I don't even know this motherfucker. He does the like attitude and shit. Like, da, da, da. <laughs> this guy never evolved from his fucking shit. That's all I'm going to say, man. Uh... I just don't... He's gonna lose that Universal deal, man. I'm just saying. He's not gonna get no respect for nobody no more. Uh, Joku, uh, Joku says, Kendrick puts out an album every seven years or so, so I'm not a fan. Okay, dot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of Kendrick either, but that's why I'm saying that Drake fucking just rolled over. Pussy. You know, Drake has taken out to me... Drake has taken out stronger opponents, and he just rolled over and did nothing. <laughs> I was like, wow. Fuck you, Drake. You are, you do have ghost riders. It was all true. <laughs> Y'all know that, that, that fucking, that, what was that, uh, um, started from the bottom, now here. Started from the bottom, then the whole team. That whole album was ghost written by this guy. On the internet, and Mick Mill exposed it years ago, and it was true, motherfuckers. It's crazy, bro. The reference tracks are there. It's that guy rapping him, and, and it's a little different because Drake adds his flow and his style to it. But it's the same song, the same track, and it's just another guy, and Drake changed the words because it sounded badass. Is this... The guy got paid. The guy got paid. <laughs> You know, that's the way the industry works. That's the way the industry works. Uh, and he got exposed. He got exposed. But this guy says, at the end of the day, I need music. And he has plenty of it. Okay? He's not like me. Oh, that fucking guy. Plus, Michael's Touch Jackson. Oh, this guy. R-rated. R. Kelly. Kelly Puff. Pe Petty. Philly. Diddy. <laughs> And plenty more touch kids, etc. <laughs> hey, take it easy, man. Fucking Brian the World's gonna come after you, motherfucker. <laughs> but we play their tunes. Cheers, mob flowers. Hush, hashtag. Live. 
everyone who is in a position of power is just as bad, if not maybe even worse. But we just don't see it. All right, some of these people didn't play nice with others, and shit, this shit gets exposed suddenly. Or you do something, or you don't do something they ask you to do. <laughs> and stuff like this happens to you. But they're all, they're all degenerates, is all I'm going to say. That's the nice way of putting it. Everyone in the industry is a degenerate. And that's the nice way, because there's crazier words I could use that are probably going to be like, Ah, oh, this guy's Alex Jones, and this guy, let's block him on YouTube, okay? They're all degenerates! All these motherfuckers, and they don't believe in God, and they fucking drink baby's blood and shit in the half. All that is real. They stay young forever. Holy fuck. Anyways, let's keep it going! We're going to get blocked all of a sudden here because we're spreading lies. This is not that kind of channel. Super Saiyan Joku. Oh, the Jonathan Majors fucking uh, video, he says. He needs more than 50 min 15 minutes of counseling a week. He also needs anger management classes. It works for me a little. Ah, he really was getting mad like he wanted to hit that poor lady. <laughs> I don't beat women if I don't if you don't count my kids. <laughs> I when he, oh man I hate when this happens let me see okay I slept a couple of these time a couple of times to put a bitch in check cheers mother flowers oh this fucking guy yeah 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 I don't think I've ever hit a woman uh but I did pull one to the floor and let me explain myself what I'm talking about pulling one to the floor all right. It was it was one of my exes a long long time ago And uh, it was a really bad breakup really bad because she was crazy And I was on drugs and so it was really bad And, and so we broke up over the phone and that wasn't enough for someone who's crazy. That's not enough for someone who's crazy. So she came over to fucking make sure we were really fucking broken up, I guess. And I, instead of letting coming in, I fucking meet her outside. You're not coming in here, you fucking get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking pissed off. And she goes, and she has, you know, because she has those fake artificial nails. They're not real. They're like, they're like, they look like claws. And she goes to slap me, and she did. Ah, like that. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, you bitch. So I went like that, but I didn't, I just grabbed her shirt right here. And I tugged her down like that. And so she fell straight. And this was this was in the grass. All right, there was no concrete or nothing. Okay, we was outside of my apartment. And before she even got close, I was already out there to telling her to go away. But she came out, and this was in the grass. And so she fell like that on the grass. <laughs> Face flat. Blah. And when she fell in the grass, because she had her car keys on the other hand, she dropped her car keys. So I grabbed her car keys, and I oh. When, when I pulled her and she fell on the floor, for whatever reason, and I later found out why, my cousin supposedly, according to him, he was coming over because he wanted to know if I had any weed to smoke him out. But at that exact same time, he was coming in. He was coming in and he saw this. And when, I, when she fell on the ground, he grabbed me. He says, what are you doing, you idiot? You can't fucking it up. Like, she slapped me. Like, she's, I don't even, I don't want her here. And so right away, I saw she dropped her keys, so I grabbed her keys, and I flung them across the street. And she's like, what the fuck? And so she's over there, and since it's a busy street, she's stuck, like, on the street waiting for cars. And then my cousin's all like, get the fuck out of here, bro. And I was like, all right. And so I jumped in this car, and we left. And I never saw that bitch again. Thank God. It was a long, long time ago. You don't ever go through that again. Uh, so yeah, I didn't hit a woman, but I pulled her down to the ground. <laughs> That's what I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I got slapped by a, by a bitch. With claws. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Cheers! 
All right, let's see if this is the last comet. It was the last comet. Thank God. So I will say thank you all for all the fucking comments. Because without it, I don't think we would have a goddamn show. Uh, appreciate you, motherfuckers. Cheers to everybody. Make sure you send me stuff to your social medias down here. And we'll fucking share it to everybody. Uh, before I leave the comments section, though, as always, one of our own has a little bit of advice for y'all coming all the way from good old the backwoods of good old Tennessee. Gomer Kyle's Redneck Weekly's Redneck Advice. Take it away, Gomer. Hey, this is Kyle with the Redneck Advice of the Week. Advice this week is simple. Mass. Don't do it. Meth is taking out a lot of good rednecks and country people. So please, just don't do it. That's the message this week. So, hashtag woke pack for life. Hashtag woke son for life. Have a good one, folks. Cheers, Gober. Thank you for the fucking redneck advice. And that's a good advice for anybody. That doesn't just goes for rednecks. Don't do meth. It's a very bad drug. It's very expensive, too. I mean, if you're doing meth, I think you're doing pretty well in life. And there's no reason for you to be doing meth. Because, I mean, it's a pretty expensive drug, okay? Don't do meth. Don't do It's bad for you. Anything white in general is bad for you. Stick to the greens. Stick to the greens. It's all good when you see the greens. All right, I snorted a couple of green pills once, and I woke up naked with two fucking men. It was badass. Yeah! Hey, do you like this kind of content? How about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link to the right or check the description.